In today's topic, we will be learning on how to go about determining or I would rather say predicting someone's age by the data points that they have provided on their LinkedIn profile. Again, who is my target audience and how to get benefited? Well, maybe recruiters who are looking to hire some young talents between a specific, you know, age group. Entrepreneurs who have a product or service for a, uh, you know, specific age group. Maybe for 20 to 40 age group, they have a different product. For 40 to 60, they have a different product. So, how to categorize the target audience based on the age that we're going to learn. Sales or BD who have a basically maybe a age specific, you know, outreach that they would like to do. Or any person who would like to, you know, target their audience with respect to their age. So guys, before understanding the different tactics that we're going to take in order to, you know, determine person's age, let's imagine a scenario here that, you know, I am someone who provide, let's say, a training course on how to go about coding. Okay. And I want to target a specific age group. For example, some new freshers who are ready to go to the industry, but they lack some industry skills. We all know that colleges do not provide that much of high end industry knowledge. So I provide industry coding knowledge like Python, uh, Java and others. Okay. So I want to target those set of audience falling in the age group, let's say of 22 to 30 because 22 is that age group 20 to 22. Someone get graduated and they start searching for jobs and then they start getting more serious towards their skill set and towards their professional grooming hence i provide that coding course i'm gonna target those set of people so there are various tactics to do that first one we have is professional experience i'm gonna target those set of people who have let's say one to five years of professional experience within the software domain now how to find out those people for that you need linkedin sales navigator how to do it is what we are gonna discuss and those people are generally in the age group of 22 to 25 or 26 because 22 is the age when someone can graduate it and then they start working uh, with the company so those sort of tactics comes into play in order to determine person's age as i told you earlier there is no direct tool who can give you this is the perfect age there would be a possibility of error or plus minus one or two uh, in the person's age that we're gonna predict okay second the prediction model you're gonna follow is college pass out here a quick math will comes into play for example uh, my current age is 26 years of age okay and we all know this uh, generally you know uh, the pass out graduation uh, age of uh, individual is generally around 22 to 22 years of age for the instance let's take that person generally get graduated uh, in around 22 years of age so you want to target the set of people who are let's say currently in the age group of 26 to 30 years okay so for that we all know the person generally get graduated in 22 years of age and currently it's 2021 so what we're gonna do we're gonna minus 2021 to the preferred age hence i might have took birth at 1995 that exactly i took the birth in 1995 only and then we know the person generally get graduated after 22 years so we're gonna add the 1995 my birth year plus 22 and hence i must have graduated in 2017 yes i was graduated in 2017 and now what we're gonna do post we have the graduation year we're gonna play with linkedin tool and gonna enter this 2017 there and we'll get the list of all the people who are graduated in 2017 likewise 2018 2019 2020 and we're gonna get the all the target audience in the age group of 26 to 30 so this is another tactic to basically determine someone's age Again, you are with Rock Crow. We not just gonna follow the manual technique of doing these sort of things. We're gonna take help of an automation tool to make your journey super easy and impactful as well. Hence, using that automation tool, you would be able to predict someone's age within minutes. These two tactics something that you can use to verify someone's age, but this automation tool gonna do it within seconds for you. So let me uh, show you practically how to do these things. So guys, we are on the LinkedIn. So first of all, you need to click in here, LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If you don't have a LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can let me know. I can provide you with the list, uh, basically with the URL so that you can explore all the list. 
okay so for example my basically the target audience is someone who is into software developer okay so we're gonna use first function so there are so many functions that you can use for example we also only want to target India as a geography so we can restrict our audience to India so there are a lot of function that you can use if you want me to prepare a separate video on how to use LinkedIn sales navigator you can let me know in the comment and I'm gonna prepare it for you guys okay and then we're gonna use another filter that says years in the current position or better let's say years of experience years in the current position it may happen someone has started a new uh, let's say position so that gonna generate a lot of junk results rather let's say one to two years of age or for example uh, generally person get graduated in 22 so this is gonna yield you 22 23 or 24 plus minus 2 3 and if we add both of them then we will get a bracket of 22 to 27 so this is how basically you know based on your target audience you can outreach for example I only want to outreach people who are 22 to 24 okay in between that so one to two years of experience okay and then their title their title should be software developer because these are the people basically who is my target audience of engineer something related to data scientist data scientist yes so this is how basically you know you can play with this information to add as many title which you think is relevant to your industry or your target audience then you're gonna hit search so what eventually will happen you will get all your target audience between the age group of 22 to 24 who are as maybe working as a data scientist or software engineer so you can also add some keywords like intern because generally you know when someone just start out they generally work as an intern and you will get a lot of other data as well and if we let's verify whether they have only one to two years of experience or more than that we need to verify that as well to basically you know verify the data that we are getting is uh, accurate enough or not okay so if we see they have around 7 plus 3 10 around 1 years of experience so this is how basically you know you can uh, get data of different people within 1 to 2 years of experience let's uh, next we have is using college pass out I hope you understood this uh, mathematics very much easy if you just you need to uh, memorize the age group you want to target you want to target 26 years of age people then if you see 2021 minus 26 they have taken birth in 1995 and person generally get graduated around 22 24 you can basically add this with 1995 and you will get their passing out year of college 2017 is what they're passing out year now how to use this passing out year to uh, basically fetch all the audience who are at 26 years of age is what we're gonna learn now so we have to come back to our LinkedIn for example let's take an example uh, I want to target people who are basically from IIT Delhi okay done and then post we have that page open there's a special filter in LinkedIn that not most of us use and this filter can use for career guidance as well if you want to target you know people who are graduated uh, within a specific you know uh, year let's say your own year or maybe your senior and is in a particular uh, you know title for example working as a software engineer with a company working as a data scientist with a company you can get connected with them and ask your career related doubts or job referrals so so many ways you can basically use this LinkedIn alumni filter I'm gonna make a separate video on how to use this filter as well for our jobs career guidance in this particular uh, lecture let's focus on how to go about finding people who are in the age group of 2017 for the demonstration purpose so let's see that how many of them actually graduated in 2017 again the data that we'll get maybe there could be an accuracy issue of plus minus two or you know one or two let's just for the demonstration purpose let's open some of the profiles that we have and let's understand you know what's it their graduation year to basically cross verify the accuracy uh, that we can get so we have the profile open in front of us let's see when did he graduated from IIT Delhi it graduated from around 2017 only so this uh, is an accurate result basically that we have got and this person must have been you know around 22 uh, oh around sorry around 26 years of age because he graduated in 20 
17 and as per this formula it should be around 26 years of age okay same way if we see the second profile uh, iit delhi again so he graduated in around 2015 rather than 2017 because again this is a free feature of linkedin so there would be a you know accuracy issue of plus minus one or two we fit in here at 2017 we get 2015 so mean which means we have the age of 20 years as well so you need to keep a age group of 26 to 30 and this is how the second way basically you know you can uh, get a target audience who is in the age uh, specific uh, basically age group if you basically uh, you know scroll down uh, you would be able to find all the other profiles as well and then you can outreach based on the agenda that you have maybe you can outreach them based on your courses maybe you know different agenda that you would have third we have is how do i look where the process is very much easy all you need to do is basically upload someone's photo maybe you know download it from linkedin profile photo and then upload it here for example, uh, I just need to basically find out a photo that you I can upload. Uh, okay, so I have this photo in my desktop. Uh, let's see how much age do we get. So if we basically you know just upload this, it's gonna analyze the uh, photo and then gonna provide a specific age because this is in you know under the age group of 18 or 22. Again, this tool has an accuracy issue of plus minus five okay four or five again if it is saying 18 it may be around let's say 16 to 22 is something like that you can predict and again 46 so it may be around uh, 42 to 47 okay so again because these tools are free you will get a prediction not an exact figure another way to go about it is you can use facebook as well in order to you know find audience specific to age for example this profile uh pradeep tiwari all you need to do is to basically you know uh, visit their profile go to this about section then you basically need to scroll down and then hit this contact and basic info and uh, here you would be able to find their exact birth year and along with the you know year at which they have born and this is how basically you know uh, you can easily find anyone birth year unlike linkedin where they have a restriction if you visit someone's profile you uh, there are chances you will not be able to find anyone's birth year but some uh, some people basically open uh, their birth date but the birth year is something that you will not find anywhere uh, not only if so this is something that is helpful for b2c business to consumer where they target audiences everyone for example you would like to target a specific group of people for example i want to basically let's say advertise about this linkedin pro sales workshop to all the freelancers because this workshop is for freelancers entrepreneurs and sales and bd people so i go to this group but all i need to do is to go to this group and then you know register for this group join group and then basically you know uh, went into discussion with different people check out their profile go to their contact info section and see if you know uh, they are into that age group where i can send out my services or not so this is another way basically you know you can find uh, a target audience based on a specific age there so what's next so you have the target set of audience next step should be to basically outreach them automatically correct uh, so for that you need our linkedin pro sales automation workshop where we talk everything how to go about do anything on linkedin automatically like auto lead generation you can extract all these uh, 5000 alumni in just minutes using auto lead generation auto connection and then you set them on connection automation let me show you what i mean by auto connection so this is what i mean by auto connection we're gonna ask uh, the tool that i'm gonna demonstrate during my linkedin process workshop that you know what pick their first name pick their profile title and then send this message to them so if you see five hours ago i sent it across a lot of messages i did nothing I have set this on automation from past couple of weeks and this tool is running automatically in the background. I need not to even you know visit that particular website to set this on automation again. So this is the power of automation and what I'm getting in return. So whenever I work uh, you know on my website uh, in the you know night time 
I get a lot of what tons of inbound leads connected with me on LinkedIn and then the second message that I usually share with them is about my pro sales workshop this is relevant to them because they all are basically coming from sales or business development background where they you know they have their targets they want to outreach to maximum set of audience on LinkedIn and this is where my pro sales workshop comes into play all of these sessions are recorded these are 10 days recorded session where we're going to discuss everything about automation and if you're someone who is new to our uh, channel uh, you know uh, find out us by searching for our age specific you know linkedin search then we have a lot of resources for you you can do gender based searches as well like male female you can find anyone's email id we have a playlist on our youtube channel as well that talks about everything about basic automation in linkedin pro sales workshop we're going to discuss about advanced automation if you're someone who's looking for basic automation jobs generating leads for your business then you can you know have a basic course opt-in and if you are ready enough to go to the advanced level then you can basically you know subscribe to a linkedin pro sales workshop so would look forward to have your presence in my next video if you like this video and like my work consider subscribing the channel or hitting the like button as well I will look forward to your presence in the next video. Till then, Namaskar.